All right, today we have a new battery from Power Queen. Let's open it up. We have our little manual packet, our terminal bolts, and there's the battery. So this is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And this is a group 24 size. And as we can see right here, it's got Bluetooth and low temp protection. The specs up here at the top says it has a max continuous discharge at 100 amps. We have a little QR code here to scan so we can find the app. It appears to be a serial number over here. We might need that to locate the battery in the app. Okay, so the little scan here didn't work on my phone for some reason, but I did, f I think I found it here in my app store. And it's one of those apps that wants you to log in. <laughs> Not a fan of that, really. Okay, so I created an account so we could log in. Let's uh, add a device. I guess we can scan, try scanning the code. I don't seem to be able to connect with either this QR code or this QR code. Uh, let me see if we can just scan. Let's, oh, let's search for Bluetooth. Hmm. Not finding anything. Do we have to turn this guy on or something? So it's showing our voltage is at 3.2. So I don't think this is on we might have to charge it all right so now we're charging let me see if we have woken it up yeah there it is okay now it's saying 49% state of charge Yeah, that's a very slick looking app. I like that. It's very clean and very readable. It says all cells are well balanced. So it shows us our temperature, shows us our state of charge, uh, shows us our remaining time. Yeah, I like it. It's very clean. All right, so we'll just let this guy charge all the way up. All right, so the battery is fully charged now. We can see that from their app. It's 100%. I've got it hooked up to my shunt so we can do a capacity test. So let's go ahead and start the test. There we go. Inverters on, heater as the load. Let's record here. And we are pulling 55.4 amps, 718 watts. We'll let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so we're down to 4%, but we are sagging in the voltage right here, and the inverter might start complaining. Let's see, yeah, there it goes. I'm still saying 6% on the app. We got 97.5 amp hours right now. I'll let it keep going, but I think this is about to shut off. All right, so we're down to 2%, 98.2 amp hours. All right, so the inverter has stopped on us. And uh, 
we got down to 98.387 amp hours 1243 watt hours and 2% see what the app says it says 3% on the app hmm all right so I'm charging it back up to 100% and then we're going to test it with this load tester just to make sure that my other shunt wasn't producing an incorrect result. It was making some beeping sounds earlier during the test, so that's got me a little suspicious. But uh, yeah, we'll charge this up and then we'll run the test with this one. All right, so the battery's all charged up to 100% again. Um, it says all cells are well balanced. So let's go ahead and start this test. Okay, so we're pulling 10 amps, 129 watts. Let's see if we can go up a little bit here. All right, so we're pulling 12 amps. 155 watts and here it's showing 11.8 amps 152 and looks like it's going to take 8 hours and 22 minutes so I'll just let that do its thing and I'll be back alright guys so the test is completed and this time around we passed at 101 amp hours all right let's get a weight on this battery and we have come in at 22.4 pounds all right so i got the lid pretty much banged off let's go ahead and open it up all the way all right Now look, there's a little Bluetooth dongle right there. We've got the BMS uh, on the side here. We've got prismatic cells. Let's see if we can get those out. Looks like it's coming out. All right, we got them out. All right, so on the negative side, we've got three. I finally found it. It's 10 gauge, 200 Celsius silicone jacketed wire for the negative. I don't know, on the positive side, I can't really see it, but I. I think it's probably like a six gauge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a six gauge because uh, this is a six gauge 200 Celsius silicone wire here. And it is, it is pretty much the uh, same size. You know, they got this high temperature wire and they've also got this extra layer of protection on it too. So that's really nice. Okay, let's take a look at the top of the BMS. And we have a Power Queen branded BMS here. 100 amp, 4S. Uh, looks like we have some thermal probes, so we need to test that and see if the low temperature cutoff works. All right, so I've got the charger hooked up. Uh, we are currently charging here, showing 28 amps going in. Let's see if we can freeze this thermal sensor up. And it's actually showing our temperature here. Oh, there we go, and it shut off. So our low temperature protection on this battery does work fantastic 
Now we're back on, our temperature is rising. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. Okay, uh, the uh, construction looks fairly well. Uh, we've got little plastic corners here on the cells. We got bands holding the cells together, foam all around, high density, so that's good. And we've got material between the cells, so we got cell separators. That's very good. I can't really see the tops of the cells because the BMS is all glued to it, I believe. Yeah. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll leave links down in the description so you can check this battery out. And I'll catch you in the next one.